When you're choosing a sperm donor, it's important to understand the infectious and genetic disease screening and testing that's completed on the donors. Sperm banks are highly regulated. Regulatory bodies do differ by country, but there are some basic rules that all sperm banks must follow. Today, I'm going to talk to you about sperm donor samples that are produced, processed, and distributed from the United States. The main regulatory body here in the States is the FDA, or Food and Drug Administration, and they require a basic panel of infectious disease testing, screening, questionnaires, and physical examination. The infectious diseases that are tested for are things like HIV 1 and 2, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, cytomegalovirus, CMV, syphilis, HTLV 1 and 2, chlamydia, gonorrhea, some banks will go above and beyond and offer some additional testing, such as herpes simplex virus 1 and 2, human papillomavirus, or HPV, specifically looking at strains 16 and 18, which are known causative agents when it comes to cervical cancers. Along with the infectious disease testing, you're also going to see some basic genetic screening, things like a karyotype, which is a chromosome analysis, looking for chromosome health and structure, looking for things like translocations. Um, or deletions, for example. You're also going to see some basic requirements for genetic screening for things like cystic fibrosis or spinal muscular atrophy. In the United States, the standard has become to do expanded carrier screening. This will indicate recessive disorders for which the donor may be a carrier. It's important to note that we're all carriers for something. Doing this expanded carrier screen helps to reduce risk. Additionally, the infectious disease testing is not a one and done. It's completed periodically over time. All samples must be held in quarantine for a minimum of six months. And this will require additional infectious disease testing to be completed with all acceptable results to release that inventory, those vials from quarantine and make them saleable for you. All of this testing, all of this screening, it's all done to ensure that you're going to receive a safe and high quality donor sperm sample.